The patient has been numbed for 30 minutes and we're working in sections based on sensitivity to numbing and we're working on the lower part of the face and then we'll work on the forehead afterwards. As the patient came in for numbing cream, then one of our nurses came in to draw her blood and it spun in a centrifuge for 15 minutes to help separate the red blood cells, the white blood cells, and the plasma. This is what the vial of blood looks like after it's been spun in the centrifuge, how the red blood cells and the plasma are separated. And we only use the yellow part, so your plasma. Today we're doing the PRP facial, and we are microneedling the skin and drive, driving in the PRP, which is the patient's plasma that we drew from our own blood. The benefits of the PRP facial is that it stimulates your collagen and elastin, which makes it incredible to help with fine lines and wrinkles. It helps improve the tone and texture of your skin, the pores, and also hyperpigmentation. The treatment for the PRP facial is an hour and 15 minutes, and that's with numbing and blood draw and the treatment. This is an excellent treatment for both men and women. It's also excellent for teenagers or patients with acne prone skin and scarring. So right now the patient has had the PRP treatment um, for the bottom half of her face and now I'm wiping off the numbing cream on her forehead and her neck to do those areas. We, we recommend the PRP facial to be done in a series of two to four treatments spaced about four to six weeks apart. And then depending on your results, would be how often afterwards. But maintenance would be about twice a year. This treatment is also excellent to help with the healing of scars. This patient has a scar from a spinal surgery and it, the scar has already improved tremendously after one treatment. The neck is always included in a facial PRP treatment. We can also add any other body parts from the decollete to hands or anywhere else that the patient is interested on working. We're going over this patient's scar that she had from a previous surgery. And the microneedling combined with the PRP is excellent at helping the scar to heal. We do different cross-hatching patterns on the skin. So we go horizontally, vertically, and diagonally. Post-PRP treatment, we recommend a gentle cleanser. So you could use the skin SkinCeuticals, either Simply Clean or one of their soothing cleansers. We also like the SkinCeutical CE Ferulic because it, it calms the skin and the inflammation. You could also use the Phytocorrective Mask or the Phytocorrective Serum. Then you would use moisturizer and of course sunscreen. Definitely more of a physical sunscreen so the skin doesn't burn. Your skincare provider will help advise you on the best skincare products for your skin based on your needs. Post-care, post-PRP treatment, the patient leaves here with all the plasma still on their skin and we encourage them to leave it on for six to eight hours. And then the only products they'll use the next week will just be gentle cleanser, moisturizer, sunscreen. No heavy sweating for 24 to 48 hours and they'll be good to go.